When could we be looking forward to your third album? I would say sometime next year, next summer, that'd be a good a good day. Next sometime next summer, I'm gonna start working on. I already kind of start getting some ideas for it. Usually it takes about nine uh, nine months to a year to actually you know get beats, get them uh, right to them, get scratches, mixing, mastering, sound effects. You know, it's still a long a long process. Especially when you're working on an independent label where you know you don't have a lot of money and you gotta work and you gotta work around people's schedule and this person can't do this and this person can't do that. So you're more like relying on other people because some things you can't really do on your own. You can't afford a fifty thousand dollar studio. You know what I mean? You can't. You can't afford that. You can afford to go in and maybe pay a couple hundred bucks or whatever, but that's just little by little, you know what I mean? But it's cool though. I'd rather do it this way than have it done overnight. You know what I mean? Where you come and you do it one time and then you blow up and then you have all this success and all this money or whatever and then you're on the reverse side of it. Now you're gonna slowly gonna start going down. You know, I'd rather slowly advance up than rather than, than slowly advance down. So yeah, it's definitely cool. So uh, the, the album should be coming up next year, and uh, I wanna get some new artists on there too as well. Give them a, give them a chance because usually on every album I try to bring in artists that are the very beginning too. You know, like Breeze with La Conecta, they're still. You know, uh, they're, they're dropping the first album, uh, or uh, just different homies that are, you know, in the neighborhood or whatever, or that hang out with us, or, and they're not, you know, doing their solo thing, but they rap, so they'll just, you know, jump on a verse here and there or whatever. And it's cool because we're just doing our thing. We're just, like I said, we're just doing what we feel instead of doing what everybody else wants or doing what it's going to sell versus what I want to put out there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's cool. I think it works out better because as an artist, you're able to deliver more, even though it sounds cliche, more quality <coughs> than funny, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that's very you, true. You, you take your time and you develop something that, even though you're taking a while, and the fans don't really, really like to wait, Yeah. but when delivered, it really resonates with them because yeah. you know you had the heart, you had the time, you invested all kinds of stuff behind it. And it just, I think in my opinion it works out better. Yeah. You know? Yeah and it's and like I said it's not easy being a soul artist or being an independent artist because you know when you when you're a soul artist you, you gotta write everything on your own. You gotta think of all the hooks, you gotta think of all the verses, you gotta think of all the ideas, you gotta think of your you know, your CD covers, the tags, and, and all that shit. And it can be overwhelming, especially just for one person. But on the other side of that, you know, it's just like with anything got pros and cons, is that you don't need the group's approval to do certain things. Like, hey, dude, I'm gonna do this show. I'm gonna do it, that's just me, you know? Versus a show, when you got a group, you're like, hey, are you available this day? Can you come this time? And sometimes it might be even a little bit more time consuming when you have a group because this person might be able to not to show up, but this person will. And, you know, that's when you get a little bit of problems with groups. But it's just like the, the other thing is that when you got a group, you got more people to pitch in for the mixing and mastering, more people are pitching ideas, more people are pitching verses, like, and you know, songs and stuff like that. More networking, more connections and stuff. But, yeah, it's definitely hard to be a, a solo artist because uh, a lot of people just think of the music part of it and not really the back part of it, like I said, like the promotions and the networking and the, you know, yeah, getting people to do your posters or your flyers or your CD duplications and your CD babies and all that shit. Like, that's the hard part, I think. To me, as personally as a solo artist, is that it's not really the music part. 
it's what comes after like making the CD is is getting it out there to people networking doing shows and that's what becomes more of the more of the legwork and stuff but definitely it should be something that that shouldn't turn you off it's just something that you should know already you know yeah, nothing that, comes easy <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, they've done, they've given me a couple of their shirts and stuff, uh, that's my good friend Caesar. he's got, um, a lot of cool clothing and stuff, and I, and I told him, man, you got, you got some nice clothing, because I was working with Kimo with Joy, and then he came through too, and he was like, yeah, dude, I got my stolen garments going on, and I was like, man, this is some nice clothing, you should, you should get it out there, and, yeah, we've been talking, and, uh, I've been helping him out, like, get, get his clothing out, like, because uh, back home in El Paso, I do, like, I go back there, I sell a couple of shirts, some CDs, and some some stores and stuff, so I help him out, he helps me out, and we kind of help each other out. It's just like with anything else in, in the underground scene is, you know, there's, there's a, not a lot of people that are going to help you out when you're an artist and they're an artist, because they're only, a lot of artists are just looking out for them, but... Oh, there's also a lot of artists that will help you that if you ask them like hey dog you know where to you know where I can perform or where I can do this show or do you know a venue that I can do this and and they'll hook you up and it's cool like I'd rather have somebody do like a bartering than just having somebody like paying me like hey there's a hundred bucks can you do this or I'd rather have somebody be like hey dog if you do this show for me, I'll get you a show over here and we'll fucking just help each other out instead of just making it more about money, you know what I mean? So, it's definitely more like a, I help you, you help me type of thing and that's cool. And uh, they got, like I said, they got a lot of cool uh, designs and a lot of cool artwork and stuff too.